Speaking of cults, Scientology. <laughs> Anderson Cooper is doing a special all this week called Scientology, A History of Violence, where he's airing the scurrilous allegations made by ex-members of Scientology's elite Sea Org, like Marty Rathbun, seen here before eating spaghetti, <laughs> who say they were physically abused by Scientology leader David Miscavige. Jim? Battered my face and then shoved me down on the floor. The next thing I knew, I'm being smacked in the face and knocked down on the ground. He grabs Mike around the neck. He smashed Mike's head against this cherry wood uh, wall. And if he was really angry, he made them watch Battlefield Earth. <laughs> now, folks, these revelations have shocked the world, except the Catholic Church, who are just grateful it's not about them. <laughs> luckily, luckily, Scientology knows how to handle members who turn against them. The man's bitter, he's an apostate, he's defrocked, he's out, he's not a Scientologist, he never, ever, ever will be a Scientologist again. Eric Idle is right. You criticize the organization and you are out because nobody maintains order like Scientologists, except Republicans. You talk smack about these guys and you are persona non grata at every bondage-themed strip club in Hollywood. Now just take... Just take former Reagan domestic policy advisor Bruce Bartlett. In 2005, he wrote a book critical of George W. Bush, and according to Bartlett, in the years since, I've been shunned by conservative society in Washington, D.C. He wasn't even invited to this year's Heritage Foundation Charity Ball. The theme was, if you don't work, you don't eat under the sea. <laughs> but now there's an even bigger apostate. Former Bush speechwriter David Frum has been doom crying about the GOP. You see, True believers know that there has never been a brighter time than right now for the GOP, or G-Org. <laughs> this health care bill is not a defeat. It's a disaster opportunity <laughs> to win back control of Congress in November. Repeal and replace will be the uh, slogan for the fall. We can put the brakes on this, repeal this bill. We need to repeal it. We're going to repeal this bill. <laughs> Yes! Way to show them you don't need health care, Senator. <laughs> Repeal and replace is going to be as easy as taking candy from a baby. If the candy were medicine and the baby had a very bad illness. <laughs> but on the day the bill was passed, from here wrote, Conservatives and Republicans today suffered their most crushing legislative defeat since the 1960s. We followed the most radical voices in the party and the movement, and they led us to abject and irreversible defeat. Not true. The most radical voices in the movement never leave Glenn Beck's head. <laughs> and... <laughs> for his heresy, Frum was fired from the conservative think tank, the American Enterprise Institute, though AEI says they did not fire Frum. They simply decided to terminate his salary, office, benefits, and research assistance. <laughs> Frum resigned. I mean, you can do your job without a salary, an office, or benefits. It's been nearly 30 years since my protege, the professor, lost tenure at Columbia University but he still lectures every day outside to a very inquisitive pile of used syringes. <laughs> so, question is, do conservative dissenters face retribution like some cult? No. And anyone who disagrees with me should be viciously beaten by David Miscavige. 